I'm going to make you a little challenge. As of me recording this, it's currently sat on 530 likes. And if you guys can make it 531 for this video, within the first 24 hours of me dropping it, I will release another video, which will be episode 3, within 48 hours. So I need to remove all of this. I need to remove all of this. Actually, not you in you. I can remove you. I can remove all of you. And then all of these bloody belts. And of course, my inventory is full. So I need to empty. get rid of the leaves. We don't need the leaves. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Bada bing, bada bosh. And I still need to get rid of you. I don't need the oars. We don't need them. I could do with the cable law. It's weird how desperate you actually need to be for certain items in the early stages of Satisfactory. And now that we've removed all of this, we can put down what we discussed at the end of the last video, which was the sorter, which as we know has three solid outputs. It also has two juicy solid inputs and one liquid input. And as we know, we can only do one recipe. Which is, it requires 20 crushed, uh, 120 rubite, but then outputs 90 crushed tin per minute, 60 crushed lead per minute, and then 20 crushed stone per minute. And as we know, them don't actually produce crushed tin. It produces crushed rubite. Hence the reason we didn't need to delete these. So we can actually leave these here. And all I need to do now is wire this up to this and I'll allow these two to merge together and I've left the limestone not limestone because we're used to saying that I've left the stone on this belt and I just wonder what's going on here. that can actually be removed that should not be going through there because that is clipping so we have these two here these two are still merged together because I need to merge them together anyway so we have this one going over then it comes around goes into this merger and then this one just merges straight from the output to this and now this needs to merge with the stone that this is going to produce. So we now need to grab this and lay this down into a nice little location. And to be honest, I think it's just going to slide right into the middle of here. So I'm going to place it down there, just like this. And then, is that... Yeah, it kind of just goes over one foundation. I'm just glad it is something that is you know, kind of symmetrical. So now what we need to do is we need to bring the output of this and this together. So we're just going to grab ourselves a nice little cheeky merger. We're going to place you directly into this input. I'm just going to place you, let's say there. Is that right? You, is that, that's not right, is it? it? Needs to be over by one little notch. You, there. And now we can grab you, swing you out. 60 per minute, which is fine. You to come out at 60 per minute, which is fine. And then you to be our 120 per minute with a Mark II. Bada bing, bada bosh, connected. And to be honest, I could technically push this further back because I hate having excess room. So let's actually grab that sorter, jump up on here, then bring this, we'll rotate it first, all the way back to like there. Is that nice? That's okay. It fits nice. Just now need to get a Mark II. And... Eh, Uh-oh. It's too steep. What do you mean it's too steep? It's... Wait. It's because of this. This is the... Uh, okay. Lim, you need to fix this. And if you don't know what I'm referring to, one of the developers is called Lim. And the thing about these foundations is these... You see these little black little lips here? They can actually cause problems with belts. And if you actually place something on top of this, it's actually, there's a height variant from here to here. And sometimes it requires a little bit of a lift, like 0.01 of a lift. And sometimes it doesn't allow it to go in. Even though you can kind of see this is a little bit higher right there. This could have a, have a bit of a problem anyway, but you can see the smelter is a little bit higher than it needs to be because it's coming down, right? So there's the, the, the smelter, sorry, the, the, the this merger thing. It's a little bit higher than it needs to because of these little things. So if you ever come across that, you know why. Now we have this installed, what we want to do first is we want to figure out which ore is going to come out of which slot. 
So we're just going to do this right here. And then we're just going to grab this and power it up to that machine. And hopefully. Oh, I need to put the recipe in. Uh, boop. Go. No. No power. Wait, what? Uh, oh. I deleted power to you. And then you can't go onto that. I can connect you to there, though. Are we... Are we out of power? Hello? Uh-oh. Are we actually out of... Oh, no. <sighs> parkour! Parkour! Oh, crap. We're actually out of fuel. Saying that, we've got one here. What's wrong with these? Wait a minute. We're consuming eight and... I have a disconnected power line somewhere. Hello? Am I getting invisible items on this belt? I think I am. Oh, have I got the weird merger bug? Is this technically not here right now? Yeah, they're technically not there. They're not on the belt right now. Are you on that belt? You're not on that belt either. We have the invisible stuff on the belt. We've got 163 in here though, so we should be fine. So let me climb back to the top and find out what the... Have I removed the power? I have removed the power. Where did I have... I must have deleted it. Did I add it? Where did I add it? You? Was it you? Did I put you directly into that? I think I did that. Oh, let me add that there. There we go. Now we got things moving. I'm just going bloody mental over here. Okay. Oh, okay. So we have crushed lead coming from this side. The tin. Okay, that's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is a bit awkward though. Because now we need to get you to go over here. Yes, I can lift it. But it would be kind of cool. How is the liquid in this machine? What is this? Is that liquid or is that meant to be like crushed stuff? That looks like... I'm not going to lie. It's like only... I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm sorry, ladies. But men. <laughs> when we look at this, this... This is... We know about this, right? This situation right here. We know about this. You ladies might know because you might know about the toilet seat and stuff. But men... We have something in common. <laughs> anyway. Um, right. So, I can't, I can't, I've distracted myself now. Okay. So, let's just get a belt from here to lift. I need to take it out further. Oh, my God. How far do I need to bring you out? There we go. And then over here. And then I can just get you straight up. Straight up there. And bring it around. So, uh, to be honest, I think the best thing for me to do right now would be maybe to put the constructor here for the stone, right? Yeah. Maybe I do that. Do you know what I could do, actually? What we could do is we could just get a merger. I could put this down here, right? Like so. We then connect this to here. I can then bring this this way. But what I'm going to do, in fact, I'm going to put down a storage container. And I'm going to put that there. The reason I can do that... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my God. It slides in perfectly. Hell yes. So I can then put that into there. Just because when the stone or the concrete completes, we could then backlog stone into here in case I need it. I do need a thousand stone for this, right? And what I mean this is the glass walls. I need 1,000 stone for that. Okay. We also want the assemblers. Go. I want reinforced plates to, uh, to be made. Because reinforced plates is something I keep having to handcraft for Mark II belts. Yes, because of the these guys. Simple conveyor belts. Which we, we're making tin. Well, technically not now because I removed it all. So let's climb back up to the tin. I can't believe it. At the end of last video, we set up the whole tin and now it's totally deleted it because of this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't think we're going to add the sorter to the copper line and the iron line. The reason being, I feel like it'd be a bit pointless because what I would like to do is on the map, we already know where the, a lot of the ore is, right? We know there's pure ore or, or iron ore down here. Well, it's not iron, it's stereotype. We already know there's some uh, rubite over here which is technically the limestone nodes and there's a few copper nodes over here which is two impure and one normal 
so we can merge them together with the ones we already have over here and make a bigger factory in the middle with its own lines, right? What I'm also being careful about is this sorter. So this sorter right now has two inputs, but then also it has a liquid input. So either this machine is going to get more items soon that was going to require liquids, which is 100% guaranteed, to make more of a pure recipe. Because this is a tier one sorted rubite. So what is the tier two? I'm thinking liquid has to be involved with it. Because this uh, mod, the Satisfactory Plus mod, has this menu right here. Normally, I think you open it with L. I've changed it to a, a different key bind. So I'm pretty sure it's L. So someone in the comments, if you can just put it, if it is L as the keybind, just so other people can know, that'd be awesome. I would appreciate it. But inside here, you can, you've got the whole, you know, inventory of stuff. So this is everything with the unlocked, right? We have the resource nodes. We have the buildings. It's like a whole Wikipedia, Wikipedia built within the game. And it's only going to show you what you've unlocked. And, you know, the sorters and the recipes. Click on this. You can see we need 120 per minute, 6, 90, 60, and 20. We can even change the multiplier down here to 50 if we wanted to and all that kind of stuff right which is pretty cool um so i'm definitely i definitely refer to this a lot because even a lot of the base recipes have changed like modular frames for example right this is i've already seen the modular frame recipe and it it's 20 per minute on the output which is crazy compared to the vanilla game because on the vanilla game it's five and it's um it requires, I think, three reinforced plates and 12 iron rods in the base game. Where in this one, it's a little bit different. So, now that we've got this set up, we want to now get the concrete done, which is technically done from here. But now, we know for a fact, we have the ore coming out of here, which is crushed in at 90 per minute, right? And as we know from the previous episode, when we was talking about this and discussing it... It goes into a smelter, but the tinning got now, because the sloppy tinning got is crushed through by it. We don't use that anymore because that was coming straight from the crusher, right? We're now using this recipe, which is a tinning got, which is 30 crushed tin, which we're making 90 of. And it's 30, so we need, you know, three smelters, and it's going to give us 45 per minute, which will be 135 tin ingots per minute. So now that we've got that, we just need to figure out the distances and what we want to do. And it's to be honest, it's very, very simple very simple so what we're going to do is i'm going to get myself a nice little split uh, smelter and we're going to place you say around there maybe maybe about there and then we're going to skip a spot and put another one here because as we know with these outputting 30 per minute a constructor however with two specific recipes one being rods I need to put the splitter down, don't I? Let's put the splitter first. Be easier. Put a splitter there. Put a splitter there. And then a splitter there. And then a constructor, which will be... <laughs> Let me up here. I, do, I need to get a little... Do you know what? We're going to do Caterium today as well. Because I need... Um, it might not even be classed as Caterium. So I'm going to put that there. Like, about there. We can put another one at the side of that. This 30 can then go into there. So that's 15 going that way and 15 going that way, right? This is making... No, this is making 45, sorry. So mark one. And at the minute, what we have right now is 22.5 going that way and 22.5 going that way. This one is going to be set to... This is tin, isn't it? Yeah, it's tin rods. So tin rods and then tin sheets. Actually, let's make this one sheets. Tin sheets. So this needs to be tin plates, sorry. This one needs to be tin rods. Because this is going to be plates, that's 30 per minute. So 30 coming down there. And then this one is going to be rods, which is going to be 15. And then simple math, 30 plus 15 is 45, which is what this is outputting. So we just need to do that for all of these. So all I need is four more constructors. So do, 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 and do. We make this one uh, plates. We make this one rods. Right? So that can make... Uh, the wires. So this one will double up here because that's going to make sheets. This one can make um, tin wire. Then we'll get this one to make plates. Then we'll get this one to make rods. And then 
plates and rods, right? I feel like that's good. Good, good, good. But what I will need to do is I'll need to get a merger here like that. And then we're going to get the plates from out of this one. Well, the rods are going to come out of here, right? No, it'd be easier if I make that one rods. Sorry, I'm just kind of like trying to debate of what to do and where to position everything. So if I make this as rods, so then if we get a merger here like that and then bring out this to go into there, that to go out of there, that's rods like that. And then I can bring this one here. Bring you up. Over here. And then bring you down. Where did where are you going? And then you into there, right? So that is now plates. That's now wire. That is now tin sheets. And then this is rods. Okay, beautiful. Because that's all we can really make with these, right? We have tin plates, tin rods, tin sheets, and tin wire. That's the only thing we need to do. And that is consuming all the items it needs. And then we then need to look at lead. And lead, uh, we are outputting 60 from the sorter, which is then going to go into the smelter, which is 30. So we're going to need 30. Wait, hold on a minute. Which is 45 per minute. And then we have a constructor. And the only lead thing we can make right now is plates, it seems. Yeah, lead plates. We can't do anything else with lead. Just double check. Yeah. So, and they need 30 per minute, right? Yeah, 30 per minute. So then all it is, is then two smelters merged together. Yeah, two smelters merged together to go into three constructors to then make what we need. Right? So let's get the tin from out of here. I'm going to get you to come along here, run on underneath. And then I need to get the splitters on the input side of these smelters. Mark one on the inputs. And then mark one running through the center. And then technically, we're going to need a mark two to come down here. We can just bring this all the way down like so. You're going there. We're going to get you to turn into there. And then we need to bring the lead over here. And what we're going to do for that is we're just going to get you mark two, uh, mark one, because you're only bringing out 60, aren't you? Uh, we're going to get you to turn to the right here. And then we are going to bring you down, say about there. And then we're going to get you to lift up here. To then go above the lead. I need to put down, sorry, uh, above the tin. And then we're going to bring you on top, just like this. And then we're going to take you all the way across the top, like so, to here. We're going to remove that, so obviously that's not clipping through there. We're then going to come around here, because I did delete a leg. A leg. So I'm just going to put this down here, just for support reasons, so it doesn't look like it's bloody floating all the way across there, right? And now that we've got that, I then need to put down the smelters. So, regarding this, we need to put down three constructors. And if we put them side by side, like we are doing now, so one, two, three, we can then look at putting the smelter to, let's say, here. And then another one would be going into that one, right? And then we're going to need a merger here, in the middle one, like that. And then we're going to need a splitter. Wait, oh, I need the conveyors. Let's handcraft them. Oh, well, I can, I can only make four. See what I mean by about reinforced plates? I can make 90. I'm not going to make that many. I don't want to be here all bloody day. Right, and now I can put down the splitter, which is there. We can then put a mark one into that, mark one into that, and a mark one into that, right? We're going to bring a mark one from this smelter into this merger, mark one into this mer uh, merger, that's 45 out of there, 45 into there, meeting 90 into here, which means we need a Mark II going from this merger into this splitter. Then this splitter is going to separate 90 three ways, which will equal 30, 30, and 30. This meaning these constructors are getting the correct amount. And then we're going to do lead plates here. Then we're going to do lead plates there and lead plates there. And then all we need to do is get all this powered. I've just realized it's night time. Uh, and uh, yeah, now we've got all of that done, we can then provide power, get things up and running, and get all this into a storage. And there we go. Now we have power. Everything's running. We've got the belts running into the storage. 
And technically, all I need to do is just do this. Add a little bit of a belt on the outside so we can see what each item is. Or you can just press the F key and it'll tell you inside via the image on screen. Like we've got 1,100 and one lead plates in that storage and so on and so forth. I've also put down a bunch of storage over there because my inventory was getting full and it was just getting annoying. Save me running around, deleting stuff, all this kind of stuff. But if I'm not mistaken, we do need to go on a bit of a biomass run because we are running out of power. Because if I look in the containers down here, we have no wood. We had no leaves. These constructors are not producing anything and we have no solid biomass on these belts. And these are about to run out pretty soon. Actually, near enough immediately. So we need to make a run for it for the desert. Well, the oasis to grab as much leaves and wood as we can. So let's get my chainsaw and let's get it ready to start making some biomass. We're gonna grab as much as this as we can. I love the chainsaw. Wait, hello? Hello? Okay, there we go. I thought my inventory was full then. But if you didn't see the teaser for what's coming with 1.0, we can now eventually, in 1.0, it's a nice little quality of life feature if you didn't see it. You can actually now change the function of the chainsaw to delete one item or to do an AOE, which is something I've been requesting for like the last two years, maybe three years, maybe since the start of when we had bloody chainsaws. I can't remember. It's been too long. I've sunk many hours into this game, but I'm so glad it's coming. And oh boy, it's a nice little feature because the way we normally have to do it now, for example, if you want to make a pretty looking factory and you want like a tree to grow inside your factory kind of thing, but then you've got some other ones that kind of get in the way of things. You have to kind of like make sure your inventory is full and then go up to the trees you want deleting and then, you know, it'll delete what you need to. But if not, you will lose the said tree. And we've just lost power. Okay, back to it. Right, and after I've got all the wood and leaves I've collected, I can then start throwing into here. So this one is, which one's this? This one's wood. Okay, so wood into there. And then leaves into here. And bada bing, bada bosh. We can then... Oh, yeah, I need to get the... Oh, I need to get these power up, don't I? Have I got anything that I can just put down to power these a little bit? I guess I can just separate the ones I have. Put you in there. Put you in there. Come on, we just need to get this flowing. We just need a jump start. Come on, come on, come, 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 come. Uh oh, don't want to fall down there. Okay, come on. Give me give me the good, good stuff. There you go. Nice. All I need now is just some solid biomass to make its way down. There we go. We should be fine now, because it's by the time they get to these, these aren't going to burn out for sure. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're good now. Bob's your uncle. Right, so I guess the next thing we want to look at is possibly the assemblers, right? So if we're getting into here and improve manufacturing, we now need to get the lead. Oh, and I need to make simple convert. Uh, the annoying thing about these, this item you have to handcraft until you get reinforced plates. So I think we are going to aim for this. I'm going to head upstairs, get some lead sheets. I say lead sheets, but I mean lead plates. I want a couple of them. And then I need to handcraft uh, the reinforced plates. What does it require? Oh, I can make quite a bit now. Oh, I'm just going to stand here and handcraft quite a bit of these because I need to I need over 200 of these conveyor belt things. Oh, I need tin sheets for these. So I need to go down. No, I've got them right here. I'm literally stood outside of them. Oh my god. This mod has my brain going kaboom. Make more reinforced iron plates. Make more of these belts. And then once I've got all of them, I can then remove this and then head back down to the mam. It's not called a mam bits, it's got a hub. Whee! <laughs> Wait a minute. Did I only... I must have only had... I had some health missing, didn't I? I thought I had... I, I, I didn't realize... Okay. Anyway, nobody saw anything. Let's put them in there. Send that off. Bada bing, bada bosh. Improve manufacturing. We can now make assemblers, which require rotors and reinforced plates to make. 
And then to, in here, we can see reinforced plates require 30 wire and 20 plates to make five reinforced plates per minute. And then we've also got rotors, which require copper bus boys and lead sheets. So this is our first item that requires two materials of two different um, rare resources. Our first one, which is kind of similar to how it is in vanilla. Then simple conveyor belts is five reinforced plates to tin sheets. Oh, okay. So if we want to store for reinforced plates, we're going to have to double this at least. Wait, what? How did we just run out of power? What happened over here? What actually? Was it the end ones? What happened? We had a little spike right here, which caused a power outage. We need to look into a better power source. I need to possibly automate biomass or even get to the refined power stuff. Because refined power is worth thing. Okay, this is getting annoying. I think I'm going to have to... Wait. I'm going to take some out of you. you. You're manifolding, right? Yes. I need to get you out of there. I need to... You need to share some. You need to share some of this. I'm going to put... 31 into you 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 can you can just thieve as much much as you can and then in the end ones here i need to put these ones in maybe i should just expand this by adding a couple more onto the end what's my maximum consumption 289 our capacity is on well bits maybe we should extend these a little bit more turn that on okay everyone stay on you should be fine now because technically you're only consuming 190 which should be fine max consumption 289 capacity is 240 we're no, definitely not spiking over 249 because nothing's going up here. It's just that one of these is not being fed by the biomass because obviously the solid biomass is working as a manifold to here. So these ones are filling first, then it be these ones, and then it be these ones, and then these ones, right? Because as we know, when you do a manifold line, your splitters divide it every time and it gets weaker and weaker down here. So we just need uh, this to get bloody moving and work harder. But anyway, back to my assembler setup. So... To make reinforced plates, we need these. But then to make the simple conveyor belts, we need to use all of the reinforced plates we'll make from one recipe of this. So it, I'm, because we need a lot of reinforced plates, we need to double this. So we need to make sure that we're making at least 10. But for now, I don't mind handcrafting the simple conveyor belts as a temporary solution because you kind of make them pretty fast. But on the iron setup down here, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to get an assembler and we're going to place this right about here, uh, about there. Because it needs iron plates, which we can just bring along here, take you into there. And then just iron wire, which can go from here to here. And that can go directly as an input towards that. And then we'll get a container which can come here, and then you can go into there, like so, and then we'll just get you powered um, to there, right? We'll set you as a recipe of reinforced plates, and if we come around here now, we have plates going in, and we have iron wire. So we're now we should have reinforced plates automated, super duper simple, and very convenient for what we need to do. And it saves me then basically handcrafting the reinforced plates, which for some reason takes a bit longer than the simple conveyor belts. Which is weird. Right, so now we've got assemblers and stuff. Let's have a look at what we could do next. Fix it blueprints. We could actually unlock that right away. But I don't have any plans for that yet. Especially for blueprints. Better biomass energy. Scanner upgrade biological water. Oh, this is refined power. Water extracted fluid conditioner. Can purify fluids and extract resources from them. Has one output but many products. The products depends on which liquid is being processed. Ooh. Turbine Mark 1, MV Generator, Biomass Heaters, Boiler Mark 1s, and Copper Pipes. Interesting. Biological Water. I wonder if that can be automated into making leaves and wood and stuff. So then we don't need to grab it anymore. Interesting. Another blueprint. Oh, that's the Designer Mark 2. We can actually unlock that one as well. Inventory slots. Do you know something? I actually want that. I need 20 biomass. 20 solid biomass. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Is there any stored in here? I doubt it. 
Can I hang... Actually, no, because I don't have any lead. Actually, hold on. <sighs> Climb up here. Come in here. Uh, I won't grab the leaf ones. I can grab the wood ones. I don't need that many. I can go into here. Bada bing, bada bosh. Make biomass wood. Solid biofuel. Make 20 of them. And then I'll throw the rest of the wood back in there. And then I guess I can throw the leaves and stuff into there. And then that 20 biomass we have, I can then put that in the hub. Insert you and send you off. And get ready. Nice. I can now carry more stuff. Beautiful. So, let's select another milestone. Tier 2. Alloys. Ooh. Bronze ingots, bronze pipes, bronze plates, bronze beams, foundry, modular frames. I feel like we should unlock modular frames because there's something in here we want, right? Yeah. So if we want to go down the better biomass energy, we need frames. And I can't handcraft frames right now because we don't have the recipe. So unlocking alloys will unlock that for us. So we need this before we even get biomass. So let's select that. Let's throw... Oh, I can't throw the... Oh, God, I've got to wait a minute and 13 seconds. Well, I guess in the meantime... What was it I needed? I needed tin wire. So let's select that milestone. Let me go and grab some tin wire and come back and hopefully we're back just in time. Just climb my way to the top. Sprinty dinty do over to my tin wire. Grab you. I just grab all of it. And then make my way back to the hub. Like a fire pole this. Look. Woo! Actually, we've got 25 seconds left on the clock. Wait, is that actually going to go through the foundation? That is a bit sick. <laughs> okay, come on. Five seconds. Three, two, one. <gasps> Bam. Yes, let me. Hello? Hello? Oh, there we go. Put you in there. Put you in there. What do I need? Wait, hold up. There, you. Wait, hold up. Wait a minute. Did I get the wrong item? I got... I swear to God. I swear to God, I'm a spoon. 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 Oh, my God. <clears throat> what am I? I'm a spoon. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to make you watch me run all the way up here to grab these now because you guys can suffer with me. You're not allowed to skip the video. I, I forbid you. You, you can... <laughs> You can suffer with me. Wait, it's this one, isn't it? I need you. And now we can run all the way along here. And then I can just jump off here and then put it on my machine. Oh, fifth. Okay, that's karma. That's karma. That's karma. You're forgiven. Now we have alloys. There we go. Yeesh. So we got a foundry now. I can't even do a foundry because I need frames. But I can make frames. I can make frames. So maybe... What does it cost us to make frames? Oh, we can make 10 of them. Let's make 10 of them. What do I need uh, for this milestone now? Better biomass. I need 100 frames. I feel like I should unlock this. But I need 600 biofuel. Lead sheets and everything. Okay, let me go and grab all of this stuff. And I wonder what that was under there then. And uh, let me get back to you. We've got two minutes to grab all of this stuff. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it because this solid biofuel is still getting sent this way. Unless, wait a minute. I can just take some out of it. Oh, no, I need 600, don't I? <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Yep, I knew for a fact I would not make that bike. But we can now unlock you. Let me fill you up with what we need, then send you off. Nice. Better biomass. So we need to look into this. Actually, this I'm sick of it being nighttime. Let's put it on you and pause. Now you guys can see. Literally, I talked about it in the first episode, the reason I used that mod. Um, What is it? Fluid conditioner. So we have this now. A fluid conditioner. Whoa. Oh my god, there's a toilet. Oh my god. There's a toilet flush button. So, 
current amount in building, there's no item here, no power, no fluid. And it outputs an item. So it inputs a fluid, outputs a fluid. And it has different, it has eight different slots. Input management, output regulator. And it costs 10 megawatts to power. And then we have a biowater extractor, which is basically the thing we get from the big boy thumpers, is what I call them. Yeah. So these go down. So we can, we should be able to scan biological water. Show me your goods. This way. 400 meters. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm getting, I think we definitely need to go for Blade Runners. And I, I'm going, I'm losing my marbles. Like, not being able to, like, jump up with these with ease and stuff. Um, biological water. What is that? Oh, that's, is that the, that's the dirt, isn't it? Yeah. Biological water, normal, normal, and normal. Okay. So what can we do with that? Biological water. Oh, oh my God. Okay. I'm not even going to touch that right now. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Wind turbines. Wind turbines. The power generate rates between 10 megawatts and 30 mega, 30 megawatts. Contingent upon the turbine's height, if multiple turbines are within its vicinity, the output diminishes. Each uh, each additional wind turbine within range decreases the power output. Furthermore, it can be connected in a sequence of up to two power lines, allowing for daisy chaining. Oh my god. Daisy chaining. Mm. I never did that. You never heard me say that, okay? Okay, so right now, you can tell I'll put the mam down. I'm on the opposite side of the desert because I'm playing around with... Satmonium, which is basically Caterium. And I've got a crusher here because I'm just basically throwing stuff in here, you know, like the ore, which I need to grab more of. And I'm just basically trying to work my way through to get Caterium, well, the Blade Runners. So I'm going to put that in there, put that in there, and then you are giving me Caterium ingots. And then I can go over here, go into the MAM, go into Satmonium, and I'm working my way in here because the Blade Runners are right there. And I need the cable which is this so i need 200 and i can unlock the blade runners and then i'm also going to look at smart splitters which i would think i'm i'm hoping this is ai limiters right here if this is ai limiters smart splitters would be one of these two if not it could be down here which is kind of far away but this could be high speed connectors maybe possibly because of the power switch down there so i'm working my way towards blade runners and i need quick wire Right, so now I can go in here. I can get you start research. Bada bing, bada bosh. Please be eye limiters. It is nice. Okay, so and that is high speed connectors down there. Okay, so one of these is definitely smart splitters. So now we need was it five hundred? I need five hundred quick wire. So what I'm going to do is I want everybody who's watching this YouTube video right now to close your eyes. Because you're not allowed to see what I'm doing right now. Because I'm doing this. Why did I do it that way? Wait. These require 15. I need to check the recipe before I go ahead and do this. Quick query requires 15. Oh, it, need, oh, it needs ingots, doesn't it? Um, split. Maybe I should just set up a, a system. It would be easier, wouldn't it? It would be easier. See, even the best of us has to do this sometimes. You know? And now I can just connect these up with power. Because we've got to get done what needs to be done sometimes. Because I'm in desperate need of Blade Runners. Give me Blade Runners. Oh, I need to copy the recipe. Grab you, copy you, slide under you, paste you, paste you. No. I need to make these rods. You need to be rods. You need to be rods. You need to be rods. And then I need to get four more. One, two, three, four. And then we need to go one to one for these. So I need a belt. Hello? My hot bar's not working. My hot bar's not... My hot bar is literally broken right now. Um, um, okay, I'm going to have to grab my belt from in here because my hot bar's not working. Let's do that. Let's do that. Do that. And do that. Uh, oh my god, I'm trying to use the hot bar again. I need to go into here just to grab bloody cable. <laughs> I should just re like save and reload or something. Grab you, grab you, grab you, grab you, grab you, and connect you. Oh, crap. Um, who's got an additional power slot? Oh, you do. 
Did I set the power for these? The recipes? There we go. Copy you. Paste you. Paste you. Paste you. Now give me Caterium wire. Pretty please. Okay. Give me my mam. Place you down. Satmonium. Make you. And then what am I going to need to make the legs? Blade runners. Oh my god, I'm excited. I am excited. I am excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> I don't know if you know. Blade runners. Oh, I need lead sheets. I need lead sheets. I need lead sheets. <laughs> I need to go run all the way over there. I've got full health. I'm fine. I've got full health. I'm fine. I'm coming. I'm coming, lead sheets. This is the last mile, the last stretch we need to do without blade runners. Bum ba dum ba dum ba da ba da bum ba dum ba dum ba di dum ba dum ba dum ba da ba da dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum. It's getting closer and closer and closer. I've just realised, you know, when if 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 people heard my videos out of context, it'd be so wrong. Like Twitch chat does this thing where like whatever I'm just doing what I'm doing live, they just take everything so out of context and clip it and it's literally like four second clips of me going uh oh my god it's so big meaning you know a creature in a game or something because of the weirdos hopefully you, you guys over here on youtube are better you know don't let them don't let them taint you don't let them like you know use their worm tongs but this has been in like a, a nice little conversation we've had running back here you know just running through the desert listening right now you know got the sun in our face well, to the side of our face. We're sin bean. We're getting closer and closer. I need lead sheets, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Is it lead sheets? What was it? It is lead sheets. Lead sheets. You might have noticed as well. I've got a little um, uh, little, little list to the side of my screen. That's because I want to get everything in there so I can kind of start looking at what each of these things are. So I can start science and testing what needs to be done with refined power. Boom. Let me get you. Let me put you down. And wait, blip. You have to be serious. You've got to be joking. Why did I not pick that up on the way back? On the way here. Why? 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 Well, well what should we talk about now then? Because I've got to run back towards... The opposite side of the desert. <laughs> I swear, I I don't know what goes through my head sometimes. I honestly don't go through. I, I honestly don't know. I guess, um, yeah, satisfactory is coming to 1.0 pretty soon. Um, looking forward to it. Uh, I don't think there's going to be a, you know, a patch notes video. I don't think there's going to be one of them. You know, Snut's hard at work right now. I've been having some conversations with him about some things, um, which I would love to disclose with you. Um, I've got something very cool coming up. Um, I've been speaking with Snut, and he, he knows I've been after one thing this entire time I've been playing Satisfactory for this last couple of years. And uh, as we know, I'm a very nostalgic person, and one point always come in... And I want to relive the 2019 version of Satisfactory. And you better believe Mr. Snut has come through and given me access to it. And I'm bringing a couple of friends with me. I'm going to bring Mr. Total Eclipse. And I'm going to bring Mr. I'm Kibitz. My two close Satisfactory friends. And we are going to play around with the old, old build of Satisfactory. Which some of you's... I've probably not even seen. So that'll be a treat for you guys. But for those who have, you know it's a painstaking time. But it was the best time of our lives. <laughs> Stacking storage containers to get things vertical. There was no such thing as lifts. Everything looked rusty and metally. There was none of this cool little branding that it has now. And refineries looked totally different. Everything was totally different. There was no desert. It was very 
unoptimized. The power poles look totally different. Oh my god, this this I can't wait to show you guys. But anyway, good conversation. <laughs> we made it back so I can get some more. Please tell me. Oh no. Oh no, please tell me we have enough. It's run we've run out. Oh yeah. We we for sure have. Come here. Yes. Yes. There you go. Yes, give me the blade runs. I got the hiccups. There you go. I won't let you I won't put you through that raw footage of me just talking to you guys. I guess you had a bit of a update, but for those who skipped it, won't know what we talked about, but about 1.0 during that. So unlucky. But I guess I suppose um if you don't know already. There is one coal node in this entire world that's not going to be in 1.0. Fun facts for you. And I know which one it is. And it's this one right here. Yeah, this coal is not going to be here with 1.0. So if you have a factory right next to the rocky desert in this location where all them other coal nodes are over here. All of these ones. And you are going to continue. You might want to move your machines that are going to be on this coal node right here. Just below this limestone. Which, where's this limestone? It's up here, isn't it? It's up there. Well, technically, that's Rubite. But anyway. Okay, so I've come back to the Caterium plant. And you can tell I've automated the Caterium. It's the same principle as what it is for the copper, the tin, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, two crushers going into here the crushers making the store well, the, the, the stone the stone makes the concrete and then we have 120 of the satmonium coming down here into these smelters and doing exactly the same one-to-one -one ratio one-to-one -one ratio to make the uh satmonium plates or caterium plates the caterium plates here is making the sheets and then over here we have the uh, making rods out of all of these and then the rods over here are going into storage and then these rods are making quick wire so we have quick wire now being stored caterium rods being stored um caterium sheets uh, sorry caterium plates and those caterium sheets and then concrete and now we've got that all done and dusted so very simple setup basically exactly the same as what we did for the iron and i didn't really want to show you that because i felt like it might get a little you know overdone because it is basically the same as the other stuff and it's just like repeating myself maybe but let me know in the comments if that's okay for you guys okay so i'm up on the desert cliffs and i placed down a few of the uh you know the wind turbines here and i've just kind of been experimenting with them and if we look inside of these you can see how cool this is like the elevation it gives you the wind speed the output the efficiency and then we can kind of see as well if we get a myself a power node we can kind of see this smooth gradual line that's going up and down now that's because the wind is actually affecting obviously the input and output so it does fluctuate and we can see you know it's going up and down in power so if your objective of your save is to you know have 100 efficient power this is definitely not the way to go but we definitely need to add batteries from these so wind turbines into batteries and then batteries into factory right that's the best thing to probably do they're kind of useful uh, especially if you want to get things just jump started uh, because they can provide up to 30 megawatts of power depending on height and elevation and wind speed and all this kind of stuff right so oh we should make that we're fine. Oh, what is that? What is this? Water turbine. Oh. That is juicy. I've not seen that before. There's another one here as well. That's pretty cool. So there's water um, hydro power. I'm guessing that's going to be in the refined power mod. Two more there as well. It seems to be at the mouth. So maybe you can make dams. I'm going to grab this slug though. This mod is getting juicier and spicier and even more juicier the more we get into this. So I want to show you something, and it's this right here. So this is actually some of the refined power. So this is the steam turbines and stuff. 
So we're going to go through it oh, a little bit. So I've put down the bio water extractor on this. I just want to, you know, sigh and see what's going on. Um, and we the, the pipe goes in here, but the pipes, the pipeline mark ones, actually only hold 150 cubic meters of water, not 300 like in vanilla. So I got super confused and I was like, hold on a minute. If we was to go into here, we can see these machines actually require 50 cubic meters of water um right and then it's going to produce 30 biomass and 60 leaves per minute but there's only one output so it's a good job we've actually been working on caterium because we do need the smart splitter so if we have a look in here uh in the mam i do need to unlock the smart splitter which is right here but i need the bronze beams and i need 50 ai limiters because i did unlock them um and i can now start looking at this but to, this also needs stone to actually power so it needs biological water and stone to make 30 biomass and 60 leaves but it also outputs 15 water per minute no it consumes 30 water per minute sorry i'm looking at the wrong thing this is stored so let me re restart that again. It consumes 30 water per minute. And if these pipes hold 150, and these are outputting, I believe, 60. I could be wrong. These are, out yeah, 60 per minute. So these pipes are holding uh, 150, which means we can put five of these conditioners down. And then, because I did put this down here, which I could add us through some, like, store uh, stone in there, like so. And... Uh, just kind of science to feed what this does and then this outputs 15 water per minute cubic meters of water and then that goes into this so i'm just going to remove this and go backtrack here so this right here is a modular power heater and this has to go on a platform which is a boiler platform which is this right here right this is a cooling platform and then we have the boiling platform which is this and then this the biomass heater goes onto this and then this modular power heater boiler not attached temperature 20 celsius burn percentage zero percent so this is a lot of info here and then we need to put down the cooler which is in here which is the biomass yeah the boiler needs to go on top of this and then this needs water so the water from here will go into here and then we need to figure out the maths on this and how it works because we can see that and then it's going to output steam so it has a 50 storage and then the steam from here needs to go into this. So this has its own, which is a cooling platform. So it has the, uh, sorry, a converter platform. And then you put the turbine down and then you attach the MV generator to this. And then this has the input here, right? So I'm pretty sure I could be, in, it could be wrong. This comes from here to here, I think. And then this has an output here, which I think we either connect to something else or we put down a steam cooling tower maybe or a i think this that doesn't connect to that but i can't can't find master building or oh, does it need to go on this <sighs> it does so this is a cooling platform so does this go onto here and then does that get powered from that into that because this fluid and gas buffer hot steam i don't know we need to look into this more and science it more to find out how we do this but all of that stuff can wait till next video so i want to thank you all so much for watching we managed to upgrade our tin and we managed to get caterium and unlock some things in the mam within this video so as always check out my other content right here and as always keep blinking and smiling